Okay, so this class is all about, or all things thieves. And so I have a script from Grow Workspace, which makes it really easy to teach. For those of you newer members, Grow Workspace is my favorite subscription. So you get a class, there's even a, a, you can teach this on Facebook, they give you all the images to do posts, so you wouldn't have to necessarily teach it live. Um, they give you a home class script, which is what I'm gonna do, they give you a PowerPoint, they give you a Sway link for each class. And there's probably up to like 50 classes right now. So it's a really easy way to help educate people. Like we're not gonna ever be experts. We're not gonna know everything about everything Young Living has with over 600 products. Um, that's impossible. So first of all, can everybody hear me? I have this little microphone on. My laptop is kind of older. And so if I just use the, vo the speaker on there, sometimes it makes a loud, like a, a loud noise. So. Can you guys hear me? Can somebody just drop a comment and let me know that you can hear me fine? Or there's some likes. Okay, so I'll take that as a yes. Um, okay, so throughout this class, I'm going to share some shocking news about what is lurking in your cabinets. I will give you safe alternatives for from our thieves line. Most of you are using thieves, but for new members, this is a great way to get in, an introduction to why thieves is so powerful. Um, there'll be a couple DIY recipes. I posted those already, so you guys can download those, print those, um, and use them. Um, so we'll also talk about some of my favorites from Young Living and kind of talk, talk about ditching and switching. So uh, one of the number one things we all we can all use for a clean home is household cleaner. The Environmental Working Group is a nonprofit organization. Everybody remembers Aaron Brockovich. Um, focused on the environmental on the environment and public health they have a website and lists the safety information of common household products you use to clean your home these products contain ingredients containing carcinogens asthma instigators and poisons which means some sparkly cleaners come at a high price most of the generic cleaners contain phylates which interfere with interfere with hormones and carcinogens Thieves Cleaner does not contain those big bad phylates, or however you say that. Instead of those, Thieves has two different sulfates that are derived from coconut oil and sugar. These all natural and safe sulfates that are considered surfactants, which contain a molecule that loves water and a molecule that hates water. That means Thieves Cleaner sticks to the surface and grabs the oil and then washes away easily with water. It can be used on many different surfaces, um, Thieves Cleaner, we use it to clean everything, bathrooms, tubs, showers, sinks, toilets, horse trailer, feed buckets, cat dish, you know, whatever, anything. Um, I have an aloe plant that Kelly and Dr. Dixon, Jason, gave me. It, he told me not to water it, so it's looking pretty peaking. But I even gave that thing a shot at Thieves Household Cleaner the other day because I figured it can't hurt, hopefully. Um, so it's also insanely effective. If you bought the $22 bottle of these household cleaner, you can make a bazillion spray bottles, which I should have with me, but um, it's highly concentrated. One thing we always thank Young Living for is not making us pay to ship water. So everything you get from Young Living is concentrated. And a, a tip is whatever you buy, like a Young Living shampoo or Thieves Cleaner, if you Google Young Living dish soap packs, it'll show you how to dilute them down and get three times the value out of one bottle. Um, so same with Thieves Cleaner. It, you only need a small bottle will yield about 29 16 ounce spray bottles. And it's so that's like an, under a dollar for one spray bottle. So it's time to ditch all your household cleaners for the Thieves All Purpose. Living above the wellness line and saving money at the same time is a double bonus. So Thieves comes in the small bottle or the large bottle. We started with just the small, the $22 one, but now I just buy the big one and you really, it lasts for a long time. It's a better value. Um, and there's a little spray that I keep in my purse. You can use it on public toilets, grocery carts, um, all of that. So now we're on to Thieves DIY scrub cleaner. So that was a recipe that I had put already posted so you guys can grab that and use that whenever you'd like 
Um, there's also the DIY all natural whitener. So that's on there too. That's the one I use. We have really hard water. We have a water softener and use whatever salt you use for hard water. And we still have really hard water. What I've noticed though, is now that we've switched to like Thieves Household Cleaner and then all of our stuff in the shower is Young Living and has oils, I don't have to clean our tub near as much, um, which makes sense because we're just constantly putting oils all over the tub and their job is to go in and clean. So um, let's chat about bathroom products and what you're putting in your mouth. The FDA has not defined the term natural and has not established a regulatory definition for this term in cosmetic labeling. There's some links in this class that I'm also going to put in the comments um, later on. So this is one of them. But anyway, it just means that Natural is a very loose term when used on your personal care products. Long story short, don't be fooled by clever marketing. Know what is in your products. The FDA has banned the chemical tri triclosan from hand soaps. This chemical has not been proven effective or safe in antibacterial hand soaps. However, it's still being used in toothpaste and teeth whitening products, antiperspirants, deodorants, shaving products, and creams. Explain that one. If it wasn't proven safe to use, and it can be known to cause an interaction with hormone receptors along with other health concerns, then why is it still in our products? I can guarantee you that, harm, that harmful chemical is not found in any of Young Living products. Young Living oral care products are also designed with the technology to clean and freshen breath throughout the day. Um, we go to a, it's called a biological dentist in Park Rapids, so they don't use fluoride or any of that stuff, and they have thieves. They use the thieves toothpaste and have thieves all over the place, hand soaps and toothpastes and kids' toothpaste. Um, here are some Young Living favorites for your bathroom makeover. Um, so maybe, hey, everybody that's on here that's tried the toothpaste, maybe could you comment and just let us know what your favorite toothpaste is. So we have Aroma Bright, the Dentarome Ultra, the Whitening toothpaste, which has been out of stock for a little while, so I should have bought more um, before. Um, and then there's a few other kinds. So my personal, I used to use, I've tried them all. Um, the travel ones are the Aroma Bright, so those are fine. But my favorite, I guess, was the Dentarome Ultra until the whitening came out. And now, I hands down, the whitening toothpaste is my all-time favorite. Um, when we went to Arizona this winter, I was there. Oh, it was a, I had Dentarome Ultra in there, and I was brushing. That's what we use for most of the time. And then I thought, man, my teeth aren't looking as white as they were. I switched to the whitening toothpaste, and bam, within a, one brushing, like they say you're supposed to brush for two minutes with the whitening toothpaste, my teeth were white again. It was unbelievable the difference that I noticed. So if you haven't tried the whitening when it comes back in stock, I'd recommend buying a few. So um, we also have the dental floss and the fresh essence mouthwash. I love the mouthwash too. It's super strong, so you barely have to use any of it, but it really makes your mouth feel good. Um, here's a toothpaste hack, Dale, that I had posted the other day in your group. Um, the toothpaste can also be used as a deodorant. What? Yes. Take a pea size amount on your finger and rub it on your pit. Avoid applying immediately after shaving. I suppose because it's got a bit of thieves in there. So there's a tip. And I've done that in a pinch. Like if I usually have like a little to go bag with, well, I have the Young Living travel kit. And then I have, you know, deodorant. Well, it, well I have deodorant in there. But I'm horse camping before when I forgot my deodorant and I just had the toothpaste. I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot my deodorant. And then I was. I remembered I had my toothpaste and used that. It works good. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Time to um, talk kitchen. So you may think, why do I need to worry about the soap I use to wash my dishes? I'm not eating them or putting them on my body. That's correct. You aren't eating a plate for lunch. However, you do put food on your dishes. The food picks up the detergent resi residue on the dishes and then you ingest the food. That means you are ingesting the detergent. You also inhale the chemicals as the dishwasher washer releases them during washing. So time to use the Thieves Automatic Dishwasher Powder. The fact that the entire family uses dishes makes it very important to make sure your kitchen products are safe for everyone. Um, and your pets too are eating off them. 
Easily swap out your not-so-safe dish soap with Thieves Dish Soap. This is a powerhouse cleaner infused with jade lemon, bergamot, clove, lemon, cinnamon, rosemary, um, and it also contains one of the most gentle surfactants around, often used in baby shampoo called desyl glucoside, perfect for the most sensitive skin. Don't be fooled by a few bubbles while washing. That means they didn't add that harmful chemical that makes bubbles. If you still can't get over washing dishes without bubbles, I'm going to share some Ninja dish soap tips with you. Young Living makes so many of their um, Young Living makes so many of their products as highly concentrated substances. That means a little goes a long way to make your thieves dish soap last longer, give you all kinds of bubbles. Take put two thirds of the dish soap in a canning jar, leaving a third in the squeeze bottle. Once you have a spare Thieves dish soap bottle, you can do, use that. So that's what I do. I've got three or four of the dish soap, the dish soap bottles. And so when I get a new one, I just make three more. Um, put one to three tablespoons of baking soda in the Thieves bottle that leaves a third of your dish soap. Fill the rest of the water bottle with water and shake. Um, I also add a little bit of Thieves and lemon. The baking soda will add all kinds of bottles and you just got three bottles of dish soap in one. So you can also just Google that, Thieves Dish Soap Hack, and that'll come up. Some other kitchen favorites are the fruit and veggie spray, fruit and veggie soak, and the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, which foaming hand soap, Google that, Young Living Thie Foaming Hand Soap Hack, you can get about three bottles of hand soap out of one. Um, all right, laundry. Using safe laundry detergent means one more step to living above the wellness line. It is one of the first things to replace because it affects the entire family. Replacing toxic laundry detergent and dryer sheets with toxin-free products means there is no more wearing clothes or rolling in sheets that are filled with chemicals 24-7. These chemicals are transferred onto your skin and absorbed into your body throughout the entire day. It's common to see harmful chemicals like SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, in detergents. It is a foaming agent that has been linked to irritation of the skin, eyes, organ toxicity, developmental reproductive toxicity, neurotoxicity, endocrine disruption, and biochemical or cellular changes, possible mutations, and cancer. There is some controversy over well, SL, whether SLS is safe or harmful, but to be honest, is there any question that it could cause the things listed above? If there's any question, I'm gonna avoid it. What about you? Um, one of the things I noticed, like the two big things that we swapped out first was, and I already was using organic laundry soap and dish soap, which turned out to be just as bad as Tide and Dawn. Um, I noticed where, when they talk about endocrine disruptors, that's hormone disruptors. So when we're using toxic things with those in them, that's what gives us this roller coaster, um, PMS, mood swings, all of that is caused when our hormones are out of balance. So we don't wanna use anything that makes us go like this. So when I slapped out the dish soap and the laundry soap, well, and the Thieves Household Cleaner, so I just quit using those three things. We really had, that's the easiest way to create a healing home powerfully. Um, I haven't had those symptoms in well, it'll be three years. I think probably June was when I did it um, in three years. And I used to be all over the board. Like every month was horrible, horrible, horrible. That's gone. And that's what I got rid of. And so I just keep finding like the more, the more things we swap out, the better we feel because we're just not putting things in our body that make us feel icky. Um, air fresheners. Who here loves candles and having your home smell amazingly fresh and clean? Um, there's some links in here to the Hall of Shame, so I'm guessing they have some bad candles and stuff like that. Air fresheners can be some of the worst culpr culprits. The term fragrance can be composed of hundreds of ingredients, but under U.S. regulations, those hundreds of ingredients can be listed simply as fragrance. This means when you see the ingredient fragrance, you don't really know what you're getting. No wonder so many people get a headache when they are around air fresheners and perfume. Um, I was just talking to, well, I think Dale the other day um, about menopause, some ideas for member um, with menopause, but I had told her 
headaches come up a lot, menopause, PMS, mood swings, um, that stuff comes up a lot. And a lot of those things are caused by what we're using in our home. So what I've found is when people start Young Living, it's always fun for them to make a list of every symptom of everything they're, they've got going on, aches, pains, feelings, um, anything like that. And instead of focusing on treating problems, just create a healing home because it's amazing what symptoms and things disappear when you just stop using things that are causing all of those. Um, so uh, be courteous to not only your own health, but your visitor's health as well, and replace your unsafe air fresheners and candles with a safe diffuser and pure Young Living oils. Not only are Young Living's oils safe, but they're effective. You can use a scent like lavender, not only to fill your room with a fresh aromatic bouquet, but you can also use it to calm your mood and help you get a restful night's sleep. You can diffuse thieves, lemon, and purification essential oils to eliminate odor and provide a safe, uplifting scent. Um, so I was going to kind of ask for some input, but for some reason I'm not seeing any comments or anything like that. So I'll just keep trucking along here. Um, so now that we've covered a lot of products, you can replace... Um, in your home, let's talk about how you can save money when you order them. So Young Living offers a rewards program called Essential Rewards. ER is how we can buy Young Living at box store prices. So I've compared everything Young Living, like the cleaning supplies, all of that stuff, with what we used to buy, especially when we buy in bulk, when Scott um, puts stuff in his hunting camps out west, like dish soap and cleaners and all of that stuff. I went through ounce for ounce, penny to penny, and we can't buy things at Target or Walmart cheaper than what we can buy from Young Living for ourselves because we get the point, the cash back, um, we're getting 25% cash back every month. Um, and then we get all the free stuff. So we can buy our personal stuff for free, basically, just putting stuff in his camps. Or when we buy our supplements from Young Living, we can get our household cleaning stuff for free. So however you look at it, if you just take your money, transfer buying, what you're spending instead of giving target or anybody else your money to buy things that cause health problems just take that money buy from young living it's concentrated it lasts longer and your cash back points to buy other stuff for free so um the other awesome thing about er is there's a thieves essential rewards kit so if you haven't started using let's say you just recently got your starter kit and you got the oil starter kit you don't have a lot of thieves stuff there's a Thieves Essential Rewards Kit, which has a lot of great things in there to help you create a healing home um, right away. So the, the Essential Rewards Kit has Thieves Oil, the Aroma Bright Toothpaste, Household Cleaner, two bottles of the 14 ounce, mouthwash, foaming hand soap, two bottles. So that really would give you um, a lot, six of them, if you dilute it by threes. And that's also a great tip if you have kids. Like Connie said, when her kids were younger, you know, kids like to really reef on the hand wash. If you're diluting it down, they're not wasting as much either. Um, Thieves hand purifier. There's two bottles of purifier in the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit, which is still in stock as of yesterday. Um, and then two bottles of the Thieves Spray. So ER is the smartest way to order. Instead of purchasing your cleaners, toothpaste, veggie wash, hand soap, air fresheners at the store, you can now order through ER. This is called replacement or transfer buying. It's when you buy safe products from Young Living, which is yourself, versus spending the same money at a grocery store on unsafe products. You're also voting with your dollars. If people quit buying the Clorox, the Lysol, all of those things that are proven to cause disease, if people quit buying those, they would quit making them. So Every month when I see our Young Living organization growing and more and more people buying from Young Living, that's money we're taking away from bad companies. Um, and I love that because I, I think that's powerful and it'll just help generations coming after us. So there's behind us. I mean, not like coming after us. You know what I mean? Um, we have over 6 million, 6 million Young Living members right now. 
it's unbelievable how quickly people are um, wanting to use something safer. So that's that. Um, another tip. Oh, yeah. So here's another tip on getting more for your money. Pay with a personal credit card that gives you cash back or airline miles. So I have Wells Fargo. I don't know what I get for cash back, but I just have them. They've just put money in my checking account whenever I get to a certain thing. So I have my Wells Fargo business young living credit card that I buy all my business stuff on. And then I have my personal Wells Fargo credit card. So if I use them, both of those, anytime I buy from young living, I'm also getting that money back too. Um, and then of course, when you get to certain levels on essential rewards, you get free stuff. So this month for March, and this is posted in the group, if you just search March promos, or as you add things into your cart, the free stuff will show up at the bottom. Um, but at the 100 PV, we get a free Valor this month. Um, ooh, and tomorrow's April 1st, so we'll get a whole new batch of free things. Um, JuvaFlex, that's really good for your liver. We've been putting that in our coffee in the morning. Um, Clarity, I love to diffuse when I'm working. Valor, I'm using right now. Um, and an extra, the CBD. Um, the travel bag, oh shoot, I've got that in there. It's super cute if you guys got that this month. And then Gentle Baby. And so Gentle Baby, I've never used it, but I was just reading about it yesterday as I was organizing my shelves by order of, this is like my medical center. This is my uplifting, um, happy shelf. So all of those are inspirational oils, happy ones. And then the shelf over here is the dietary ones, the ones that we can put in our food. And then we all know every one of these have medical properties and so doesn't matter which ones we use we're doing good things for our bodies um.